Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Vinto.com. My name is Chris, and I'll be your sommelier for the day on Liquid Ed. Uh, today, we're going to talk about opening bottles of wine, and it's what every wine lover needs to know first before they get into that favorite bottle of theirs. Um, opening a bottle of wine should never be intimidating, and everyone just needs to know a few things to get going. Now, a few different closures today. We're going to talk about two of them. Um, the first is the traditional cork closure, a foil over top of a natural oak cork on the inside. Also, synthetic corks operate the same way. So we're gonna cover two birds with one stone with this one. And then another very, very popular closure out there in the market is called the Stelvin or screw cap. Um, don't think that screw caps or Stelvin closures are made for lesser quality wines because there's many fantastic wines out there with this type of closure. And it's just a, a decision or a choice that the winemaker and the owner of the winery has done. And in many cases, this decision will actually get you the best possible wine um, because this almost guarantees that the wine you get is the wine that the winemaker intends you to get. Okay, so we're gonna go into a cork closure. First thing you're gonna need to, to get is a wine opener. Now there are many different types of wine openers in the marketplace. There are different, very simple screw pull models in the marketplace that people have using, been using for hundreds of years. Um, a waiter's corkscrew like this works fantastic and is great in a pinch, it's what I prefer. And also something very popular these days is called the rabbit. Uh, it's a different version of the screw pull and also in the marketplace and very, very easy to use. Um, definitely check this out if you're having trouble with a more traditional waiter style corkscrew. Uh, my wife loves this and so does Diane. So the first thing we're getting to know is gonna find the blade on the corkscrew. And sometimes they're larger. This is really all you need to open a foil closure. And what you really need to know is where to cut the foil. Many people just kind of use their knife and kind of go up the side and then peel the foil off. That's completely fine. If you can, a lot of people just grab it and pull it right off. Uh, what's more expected though is to take your knife and cut underneath the lip. You see this lip right here? Cut underneath from one side to the other, and then twist your hand the opposite direction and kind of start where you started before and go the other. And then once you get a cut all the way around, you'll just peel it right off. Okay, so we're gonna take that foil off and make sure that all of this glass is exposed from the top to under the lip. The next thing we're gonna do is open the worm of the corkscrew. And you see many corkscrews, this has kind of a, a, a naked metal screw right there. This is actually covered in Teflon. And the Teflon coatings and the black worms or, or corkscrews here, they'll actually go into the cork easier and they'll squeak less. So this is actually a pretty nice, pretty nice version. What we're gonna do is gonna grab the bottle by the neck and we're gonna actually put our finger almost down the length of the worm. And the tip you see here is pointed down, okay? What you're gonna do is just gonna take the worm, the tip of it, and actually kind of push it in, push it down into the cork stand it upright, and then as you do so, just kind of twist down. Now, you're just gonna twist until the worm is about, you see that? About three quarters of a turn showing. When you do that, you're just gonna tip it to the side. You're gonna just put the boot down. This is called the boot here. It's kind of like your lever, and you're just gonna pull up. Now, this type of corkscrew has two. So you saw how we used the top one. Now we're gonna put the boot down on the side of the glass the second time and just pull right up. And that's all it is. Once you get almost to the top, what you wanna do is just kind of twist it to the side and that's all there is right there. Sometimes there's a little bit of, um, of wine on the cork. So don't just use your fingers or your hands because you might get a little bit on yourself. And if you're in a cocktail dress or a tuxedo, that would not be good. We're just gonna unscrew the cork. Okay, and that's all there is to it on that style. And then before you serve, just, just wipe the top a little bit and then you're good to go. So that's opening a traditional cork closure. Really, really simple, really easy. Practice makes perfect, but don't be intimidated. Okay, there's number one. Now the other kind, the Stelvin closure, is actually even more fun and even quicker. I've heard horror stories with retailers and, and, and restaurateurs who uh, get stories from their consumers who don't know how to open these things. Some actually try to use a traditional uh, corkscrew on these, it's not necessary. All you do is basically grab the, see, can you, can you zoom on this? this? This metal closure goes from the top here to the bottom, right there. That's how much metal, and that's the entire closure. What you wanna do is you wanna grab the bottle, 
from below the perforations. The perforations are right here. Grab it below on the flat neck part and that's it. Just hold that, hold it tight. What you want to do then is grab the bottom of the bottle and twist counterclockwise until the top of the stubble enclosure is forced apart. Okay, so you're basically using the bottle to unscrew these two pieces. So you don't have to actually grab it and twist because you might cut yourself on the perforations. Just grab it by the bottom, twist the bottle counterclockwise while you're holding it, and the bottle will do the work for you. Now, all you do now is open it, and you're good to go. I would wipe before I pour, but that's pretty much opening a stealth enclosure. Hope that's easy. I hope you all can do that. I hope this has been helpful. If opening a bottle of wine has been intimidating, don't let it be though. Enjoy your wine.